This video was commissioned by my Gold Fluffbud patron, Jonathan Chapa. Do you want to commission your own video? Then become a Gold Patron today. It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. How? Fuck me, mate. That, that genuinely scared the crap out of me. And look, I just tipped all the little G5 China figurines that I got. I'll, I'll deal with those later. Anyway, Fluffbutts, hello, and welcome back to another Patreon commission. As requested by one of my gold Fluffbutt patrons, I am going to be continuing my series of reacting to Robin Jax's animatic series. As of today, I have only reacted to two of them so far, Confrontation and Consequence. And now, it's time to react to the third installment of the series called Conflict. And you guys better be strapping in because this video is 15 minutes long. Which is why I'm behind my reaction table for this one because I'm going to be treating this video as if it was like a real episode in the show. And I cannot wait to see what happens next, so let's do this. Mousy, nothing special for today, so I think I'm going to be giving him smack with the glow stick. Just a classic whack. So, let's begin. We confronted Opaline, then we had the consequence of meeting her, but now what's awaiting us with a conflict? We're in a desolate wasteland here. And Sunny's all on her own. Uh, I'd say that the animatic animation has really improved. Is oh, he? wow. I'm really loving it's the desolate atmosphere going on. Any pony? Oh, oh, you're all alone. Oh, no. What? Already? Hopefully. Has she got the magic back? Oh, yeah. I'll Unleash the alicorns. You to face me without your friends, Sunny. She has the hope in her heart. <gasps> Is that... Is that Pip's crown? Oh, Berlin, have you killed her? Oh God, I am. I am kind of. I'm kind of icked out right now. Oh no, she's she's locked her leg locker. Uh, no, she won't be able to uh, uh, get out uh, of it. No magic for you, Sunny. Oh come on, give her at least a taste of it. This is so intense. I am loving it. Oh no, her wings. Oh God, did Opaline steal no. that from her? Hm. What is going on? Magic. Belongs to me. It doesn't just belong to you. Give it back. Oh no, is, it, is she gonna kill her? Oh shit! A firepower. Oh my god! Wait, is this a dream? Oh thank god, it was a dream. Okay, that was pretty suspenseful. Uh, uh, Sunny, don't don't worry, you're are you okay, okay, Sunny. Is something wrong? Everything is I wrong, Misty. Didn't see. you must you were outside? Where is every pony? They're up at the prisbeam, and go I meet them up at the elevator. There's something wrong with the Sunny. With the what? With the crystals? Maybe Something's that's why they're up there. Unity crystals. Yeah. All right. Zip's already on the money. Come why? On. What's going on with them? Are they broken? Uh, what's going on? I want to apologize for brushing you off last night. Oh I'm yeah, sorry. yeah. Because they went upstairs just to go to bed. Oh, don't worry about it, Sunny. Just, just, just accept it, Zip. Just give closure. I wasn't thinking clearly. No, you were. You know yeah. something was up. Now that we're rested, we can start planning on what to do. Starting with those crystals. Is this like the morning busy? or still at right. night? I devised a couple contingency plans. Oh, interesting. All right, what's going on with the crystals? It's like it's like an alarm. Alert! Alert! Izzy hey, has like a cupcake hey, making Izzy, table up here. When did you say this started happening? Sometime last night. Misty woke me up telling me she heard something. Yeah, it was definitely the crystals. Izzy, enough with the cupcakes. You can't be eating at I a time of emergency. Mean. Could it be another message? Like Twilight. Yeah, that is a possibility. Once Sunny wakes up, we'll check it out. <laughs> I bet she's going to come I through the elevator like, Hello, I'm awake. We've got to keep our strength up. Yep, here she comes. Hello, bitches. Good I am here. Morning. So what's the plan? Good morning, Sunny. Morning, sleepyhead. She doesn't What's look sleepy to me, is he? They were just... Hold up. It stopped. Oh, no. What's is this like another Make hey. Your Mock special where they're going to see the they're actual thing marks. going? They're glowing. Oh, boy. It's because they're in close proximity to the... Yeah, Misty doesn't have a cutie mark, so she's not really that important, I guess. What is this? What is it doing? Hey, Twilight again! Woo! Wait. Twilight? Is this... Sparkle? Is this literally her, not a hologram? I was right. It is another message. Not quite. Oh! Oh! Wait. This is really her. This us? is really her. And you can see us? Yes. I'm holding my breath. However, 
I am not Twilight Sparkle. This is not her. Then... Yeah, who are you? Are you an imposter? I originated from the Tree of Harmony. It's the Spirit of oh. Harmony! So you're like a spirit of harmony? Yeah, it can't fool me! You could say that, yes. So tell us what's up, Harmony. I wasn't able to come here earlier. I was powering a runic seal, preventing a formidable evil from escape. Oh yeah, that's what Opaline, so like, was finding inside her castle. That means Opaline has... Mm -hmm. Escaped. Yep, yes. she is out there finding you. With the elements of unity in possession. Unity. Oh, yeah. Fuck Kindness. yes! Yep, you got it right. Confidence. Yes. Courage. Yes. Hope. Oh. Uh, and empathy. Empathy, yeah! Alright! So I guess this must have been made like during chapter I 5 or 6. Really there must be some mistake. I can't be an element. I don't even have my cutie mark yet. Oh, blank flanks can be elements. Connection within you, Misty. Do not worry. Yay! Misty, you're worth it. Elements, their magic was absorbed by a necklace. Opaline's necklace. Opaline had poor Misty <laughs> Why are you hugging Misty? Well, I guess she's just giving her some assurance. Does it look like this? Yes, it does. What do you know about that necklace? Yeah, tell me, bitch. It's called the Petra amulet. Petra it can amulet. It's used as a magical conduit. Yeah. But as its name suggests. It has the power to petrify. That's kind of what, like, what happened in Roots of like All how Evil. in the past were turned into statues? Oh. Be let's, let's turn Opaline to stone. Oh. Magic. Oh, no, it's glitching out. It's charge. It's the amulet is in the Ugh, no. Opaline must be nearby. Guys, I you need to be prepared. Oh, I'm going to do his best to protect them. How, though? You're inside a crystal. Oh, it's the spirit, yeah. Oh, shit. That's Opaline. No. In, in a giant it bubble again. Hitch, the town's ponies. Everyone's in danger now. Come on, it's sunny. Everyone, get out of the town. Evacuate. Silver. Ah, oh, Silver Spoon. I recognize that reference. Hold on. Is, is that. A safety alert. That, that's Macaroni. Oh, my God. Macaroni. What are you doing in this animatic? Oh, is, is Opaline going to kill Maca? Who is that? Why is she purple? <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't find- I find this so hilarious. Oh, Opaline's mad. Opaline, you're gonna be paying okay, for that billboard again. Out of here. Yeah, it's scram, Maka. Wish we could have seen Sprout, though. He would have right, made a son. good inclusion, too. Up with the elements. You've right. already got your elements, though. They're inside you. Oh, now she's uh -huh. conjured them out of thin air. Okay, like similar Whoa. necklaces to what the Harmony of Elements All had. Right, Opaline. You better watch out. I am going to creativity with you into eternity. Oh no, yeah. the roots. Is that a vine from the community garden? Uh, okay. it, it's an every forest. Uh. Get away from that. Yes, get away. Wait, so he, the vines like protect, got rid of the shield. Oh, oh no. Izzy. Save us, Sonny. It's like, it's like re referencing back to a new generation when Izzy nearly fell, but now she is falling. Oh, that was a slick slice. Hey, good one, Sunny. Now she is really having to cut. Well, what about Hitch then? Um, I guess he just went down the stairs. Opaline. Mm, you're ready for the real confrontation. Misty, get over here. And you may yet fall back into my good graces. I don't believe you. No. no. Yes! Yes, 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 yes! did you just say? I said no! What you're doing is wrong, Opaline. Mm -hmm. My friend Tell it straight to her bloody face. I raised you since you are full, Misty. You, you kidnapped her, in fact. You were also the one who cast her aside. You never gave her a cutie mark. You abused Sorry. her. Ah. Oh, you good one, Sunny. Enough. Games. Oh no, it's gonna turn them to stone. Oh shit, it's gonna burn them. Oh yeah, is this like some rainbow magic? All of their elements combined. Oh, this is sick. Avada Kedavra, Expelliarmus. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Zip. Oh, I love the lighting on, on their edges there. If you're sure, Sonny, plan B it is. They're gonna deflect it or defend it. Whoa! Oh, I, I love it when her eyes just go blank with the powers. Come on, keep up. <sighs> oh, Belie. Oh, no, she's gonna go. She's gonna go after Pip. Fly faster, Pip. 
what what that's a oh no the vines oh no she absorbed them uh maybe she's gonna use them differently all right opaline stop with the same spell you're never gonna get past that shield oh it's the thumbnail oh that is that's a cool shot that's awesome sorry about this twilight is she got oh smash the crystals remove magic so opaline doesn't have any magic Oh, I see. What? You're just don't don't tell me someone's gonna save Opaline. Oh, she's got a Scott. Oh. Oh, it, is that is that does that mean Opaline's dead? Right. She literally fell to her death. Oh no, she's you not dead. She just she just suffered some win? major fall damage. You're sorely mistaken. Friendship will always win. Oh, she contains some magic. So I wonder how this works because all the magic is gone from the crystals. Sunny! Oh no, she's gonna jump in front of her, isn't huh? she? I know this kind of trope. What she saw in her dreams? Fuck! Misty, you get out of the way! Oh no. As she. Oh my god! This is dramatic as fuck! But can they turn her back or not? Oh, yeah, how do you feel, Opaline? You just Misty, practically killed no. your own daughter! Now I have to recharge it. Oh, boo-hoo! Oh, my glitter. <laughs> oh, my glitter. Lindsay, Is that really an explanation Lindsay. you need to make? Huh? Pip, trust me! Oh, no, don't do that. I would have loved, like, a part two where they have to work, like, an effort to get Misty unfrozen, if that's the case. Formation. Main five, assemble! Wait, do you? Sunny. Oh, I love that line too. Oh, she's done it again. Now, another shield. Is she going to get more scars along her eyes? Oh, no. Yeah, backfire on you. You turned to stone. What? Oh. Whoa. Oh, the magic's on, pa on her. Oh, no, it broke it. Oh, she's turned into stone. Oh, shit. You already are. Oh my god! Ah, but I still prefer the fate of her being sealed inside a tree because being turned to stone just feels like mercy. Misty. No, she, she'll un, she'll unfreeze her. Yeah, they do her a lot of credit to her. So she can't undo her? Is this permanent? What's that? Is it like that butterfly that dropped? That's her element, isn't it? Or cutie mark? She must have dropped it. It's pretty. Like her. What? Oh, is his creativity gonna repair it or make it brand new? All of their elements combined. Yeah, this is probably going to undo the stone. Oh, yeah, I guess that it, it, yeah, it was pretty predictable. Yep, she's back alive. Ugh. I don't really... Ugh. I hate endings like this, where a dramatic moment happens and then it just gets reversed huh? instantly. What happened? You saved the day, Misty. Did we stop, Opaline? Yes, Glad you did. You, back, Misty. you turned her to stone. Just... Misty, <laughs> she's in hell. You're okay. Aww, what a sweet... <laughs> that was a sweet reunion. <laughs> so, is that the end? Oh, boy. Oh man, Flopbutts. I really enjoyed this one. Apart from quite a messy ending, what, everything else that was leading up to it was fantastic. Conflict. Yeah, Flopbutts. What a really enjoyable watch this third entry was. And I definitely consider it to be the best of the bunch so far. Better than Confrontation and better than Consequence. Even though I think maybe Consequence may have had some more emotional levels higher than this one. But Conflict, the action that was going on. Oh, I was in love with it! Sunny having that dream or nightmare with Opaline and showing her the Pip's crown. That Maybe that was a bit of foreshadowing that someone was going to like die at, at the end of this one so I kind of liked that and the way that the nightmare was so eerie and ominous it really felt like something bad was going to happen in this one and 
Oh, I was so on edge. Then all of the main six came together in the Bright House, and then they got that message from Twilight. But it was not Twilight, it was like a physical representation of the Spirit of Harmony. So, I definitely, yeah, I, I even thought that the Twilight hologram in Growing Pains was like the Spirit of Harmony taking on the form of Twilight, and not Twilight herself. Because if it was Twilight, then how on earth did she really send that message, and she wasn't really grown? But still, I hold on to the belief that G5 is in an alternative universe. And this series has kind of been the embodiment of that, really. Each of the ponies got a time to shine in this episode. Sunny, Hitch, Izzy, Zip, Pip, Misty, and Opaline even. Oh, they, their conflict... Uh, yeah, I, got, I had to do the pun. Their conflict in this episode was magnificent. The amount of characterization and conflict was off the hook, and I really, really enjoyed it. And the eventual battle that took place between the main five and Opaline, oh, that was really cool. It may mainly have been just Opaline doing attack after attack and Sunny and her friends just defending themselves with the constant shield. But the inclusion of the vines just grabbing Izzy there and having that moment of tension, I love that too. And Opaline trying to convince Misty to get back on her side and she straight up, no, I will not be evil like you. Oh God, it did remind me of their own confrontation in Roots of All Evil Part 2. I kind of think that this confrontation of sorts was handled better in, in Roots of All Evil Part 2. But each of them have their own like special attributes that I can appreciate because in conflict it felt so much more simpler and straight to the point with Opaline and she really got a hard slap in the face from Misty in this episode. Then Zip having the ingenious idea of removing the crystals so that Opaline won't have any magic but turns out she did have magic in that gauntlet and she used it one last time to try and get at Sunny, but poor Misty, she had to be reduced to stone. And I really loved the connection that it had to the beginning because it reminded her of like Misty trying to wake her up from the nightmare, and now Misty is really trying to push her away from the evil of Opaline. Oh, I really love that twist, and I just love it when like when a hero is in danger and maybe like a friend just jumps in front of them and takes the bullet for them. That is such a dramatic moment of tension, and it's something that I really come to appreciate in like terms of media because it can really provide a good twist. But then unfortunately, I'm trying not to be rude here because I really did enjoy this episode, but I feel like the ending was a bit melodramatic and anticlimactic because all it required was Pip just putting the crystals back together and Sunny having the last blast of magic on Opaline. Don't get me wrong, Opaline does deserve the punishment of being turned to stone, like hell yeah. But then again, them instantly reversing the stone spell that Opaline did on Misty when she got turned to stone. That was way too quick for my liking. And I personally believe that it dramatically just lowered the stakes in the ending because all they needed was the magic and the elements to combine and just revive Misty. Misty being turned to stone because of a heroic sacrifice that really pays off for her character to then being instantly reversed just feels so boring. I, I apologize, Robin Jacks, if that's not what you really wanted to hear from me, but this ending just kind of really wasn't it for me. However, Macaroonie's inclusion, what was that all about? I guess Macaroonie just wanted to be a little cameo in this episode, so hurrah for him, it was very funny. In overall, Fluffbutt's conflict was a fantastic episode, and I loved the build-up that was going on until Misty got turned to stone, and then it just kind of fell apart at the end. But nevertheless, conflict is another brilliant inclusion to this whole animatic series, and I've heard that there's a part four to this, so I cannot wait to be commissioned for that one too. So, Fluffbuds, don't forget to hoof smash that like button down below and comment your thoughts as well on what you thought of conflict and subscribe to my channel for more reactions and many more content coming soon. And also, don't forget to leave a pledge on my Patreon page down in the description below so you can help support me in making these fantastic videos more consistently. And I shall see you all very soon. Goodbye! And just before this video ends, I want to give a huge thank you to all my patrons on my Patreon. My Silver Fluffbutt patrons, Sabrina Wade and Alex Smith, and all my Gold Fluffbutt patrons, Jack Leichter, Drew Lazinski, Clear Heart Apple, Owen Wildish, Jonathan Chapa, Darth Sila 22 and Kiki Bat VA. All of your love and support is greatly appreciated. Thank you.